So something happened 15 years ago? Uh, around that time. Uh, there were some people that had um, quite a few sheep, maybe 60 sheep, maybe. Uh -huh. I guess real late in the evening, um, something came around, and I don't know if anybody went out to check, but they could hear the sheep just running around like something was out there and chasing them. Well, the next morning they got up, there was probably about, I believe, 25 to 30 sheep that were just like chunks taken out of them, so they were all scattered out in the field. And they don't know what what it was. Uh -huh. Now, as far as uh, what happened here the other night, you saw something in the ten foot variety. Mhm. Mm and did you guys light it up with flashlights, or how did you? Uh, my sister had a flashlight. Yeah. She had a flashlight. Yeah. And what made you go out to that area? Did you hear some noises? I just really just went out to go see if we could find more fo footprints. More footprints. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I didn't think we would see one, but we we saw one. And it, it is big. <laughs> How far away do you think you were from uh, it? I'm going to say about, oh, I can't think of it right now, probably about 10 yards maybe. Really? And you got you got to see him up yards. close like that. Wow. It was big. Did he make any noise? No, he just stood there. Stood and I there? think the whole time when we were looking for Prince, he was watching us. He's probably very close to you. Yeah. And hey, red glowing eyes? Did you uh, see red glowing eyes? No. No red glowing eyes. So did he did he look directly into the flashlight, do you think? Yeah, I think he did because he was facing right at us. Uh-huh. And just standing there watching, you know, and she flashed the light. We just seen something big standing there. And, and, of course, she went back this way with the light to the right, and I told her to shift back to the left, and it stood there a few seconds, and it just dropped down like it hunched down. You think he just hunkered down? Did he, he didn't run off? You didn't hear anything leaving the area? I think he hunched down, and after we took off running, got kind of scared and just left. I think it went running back, probably walked back that towards the sagebrushes, okay. because there's Prince leading back that way too. Okay. Which Eventually, uh, Brenda showed us where this creature had left the tracks going across. They're uh, probably about eight to nine feet apart from each other. Uh, let me see. Let me see if uh, I can get her to show us where those tracks were again. Behind her back to the house, and we came back with my brother-in-law. And it, um, uh, we didn't see anything at the time, so we went back to the house. So oh. when we were getting closer to the house, it threw a rock. Oh. And it must have hit one of the farm equipment back there because it was pretty loud. Wow. And then next thing you know, you could hear two rocks clapping. Probably like twice, I believe. Oh, gee. Yeah. Yep, that's the sign, the, the rock clicking and clacking. Mm -hmm. We've heard that. We've heard trees. Have you ever heard trees being hit? Um, not, I probably just that night that we saw it here, because like I said, when uh, I noticed some loud, like just something walking in that area, uh -huh. you know, that's when I told my sister flash the light this way, because I, I could know. hear something walking, like it was heading our way. Yeah, and yeah. yells, screams, have you heard anything out of ordinary? Not this year, but last summer I did, but this time I did when I was out there in the garden. Mm -hmm. and scream? Yes, it just... Sound like a female scream? Or kind of like a combination of everything. It maybe? kind of combination, maybe. Yeah. It just just kind of sound like a lonely cry. Yeah. You know, it probably cried uh, four times, and then it stopped, and I didn't hear anything the rest of the evening. Yeah. That's yeah. that sounds fairly typical of a uh, supposed you know alleged Sasquatch encounter. Yeah. They do that. They seem to imitate. Too. Yeah, we got uh, 24.5 inches from heel to heel on the launch and impact zone. Launch and impact zone. That's impressive. You ready? Why would they walk through here? What do they want? <laughs> yeah, what do they want? My thing is they're they're hungry. My my idea is that they're hungry and they want it. I don't think they want to eat humans. Do you have any sheep up here or any or any goats or anything? I'm not too sure about these people over here in the steel or here. I really don't know. I wonder if it would like a bite of uh, beef Ooh. or lamb mm -hmm. or something, you know, uh -huh. and gets hungry. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Do you have any uh, cat food or any kind of animal food out? Yeah, we have dog food and cat food yep. out. Do they come up missing sometimes? Like, just 
more eat, you know, um, eaten quicker than normal? Food. We've noticed it's been going, but we, we just figure it's our neighbor's dog that comes over oh, and eat at night. I see. But then too late at night, the dogs bark like crazy. Yeah. Like they're scared. Yeah, they do sense so, it. So they could be eating the dog food too? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, no more dog food. <laughs> <laughs> or, or just put it, well, where you keep your dogs outside, though, right? Yeah, at night. but most of sometimes we bring them back in because you know I don't want them to kill them. Yeah, you know, so that is a possibility. Yeah, so but most of the times we try to leave them outside that way we'll know there's something. Typically, uh, yeah. like ladies, a gentle dog, um, she's probably going to be a lot, you know, more off standing against a Bigfoot. She's not going to go attack it. Right. So I wouldn't worry too much about her. Okay. It's the pit bulls we find rip from limb to limb. Mm -hmm. Um, some of the dogs up on Lukachuka guarding the sheep, they're ripped in half, right down the middle, by the spine, ripped in half.